the art of handling and restraint in animal care, and the realm of animal husbandry, the meticulous practice of handling and restraint techniques stand as a cornerstone of ensuring animal well-being and minimizing stress. Mastering handling skills is not merely a technical proficiency. It is a weighty responsibility that when executed improperly can have detrimental consequences for both the animal and the handler. The nuanced art of restraint, with its species-specific variation, demands a gentle yet firm approach to safeguard animal welfare and minimize risk. Proper handling and restraint techniques serve as the bedrock of animal care, upholding the principles of minimizing harm and promoting well-being. Their significance lies in three key aspects, safety, accuracy, and animal welfare. Safety. Safeguarding both the animal and the handler is paramount during handling procedures. Proper restraint techniques prevent injuries such as bites, or scratches, ensuring a safe environment for all involved. Accuracy. Effective handling facilitates the precise execution of technical procedures, such as sexing or substance administration. A calm and controlled approach ensures that the procedure is conducted accurately and without causing undue distress to the animal. Animal welfare. Minimizing through proper handling is crucial for promoting the overall well-being of animals under care, a gentle approach fosters a sense of trust and reduces anxiety, contributing to their physical and psychological health. Mastering the art of handling and restraint requires a commitment to ethical practices and a deep understanding of animal behavior. Here are essential guidelines to uphold gentle approach, skills, familiarization, appropriate tools, comfort to animal, personal protective equipment, and IACUC guidelines. Gentle approach. A calm and gentle approach is paramount to minimize stress on the animals. Avoid sudden movements or loud noise that could startle or frighten them. Skills. Researcher and handler must possess deep understanding of the response of the animal and the procedure itself. Familiarization. Familiarize animal with handling procedure through consistent training. This helps them become accustomed to the process and reduces stress during routine procedures. Appropriate tools. Utilize suitable tools such as hunting tunnels or specific restraint devices tailored to different procedures. These tools can enhance the efficiency and ease of handling without compromising animal welfare. Comfort to animal. Prioritize the comfort of animal during handling. Aim for minimal handling time and reduce stress by handling them individually in a quiet, calm environment. Training animals. Consistent training protocols to ensure that animals become familiar with procedural aspects. Fostering a sense of routine, this helps them anticipate the handling process and reduces stress. Personal protective equipment. Adherence to PPE guidelines is imperative to protect handlers from potential hazards and maintain aseptic conditions. Properly wear gloves, mask, protective gear to safeguard both yourself and the animals. IACUC guidelines. Strict adherence to institutional animal care and use committee guidelines ensure ethical and responsible animal handling practices. These guidelines outline procedures for human care and minimize any potential pain or distress to the animals. In this video, we will be talking about handling small animals the delicate techniques for mice and rats. Handling small rodents like mice and rats requires a gentle touch and a keen understanding of their behavior. The specific techniques may vary depending on the species, but the overarching principles of minimizing stress and ensuring safety remain constant. 
Methods for removing from cages and transport. Picking up by the base of the tail. Picking the specimen from the tail is a standard practice in the laboratory. This method is suitable for small mice and rats. Gently grab the base of the tail, lift it up, and transport it to its new destination. This is preferred for distance with 2 to 3 seconds long. Copying, also known as scooping method. This is recommended for neonates and gentle approach. Also, for larger rats, this procedure is more secure and less intimidating. Gently scoop the mouse out of the cage in a loose close hand. This is to have a secure and firm grip of the mouse. Also suitable for experienced handler on transporting into longer distance. Body grasp, ideal for docile rats. This procedure is ideal for experienced handlers. Hold the rat firmly but gently around the thorax with the thumb and index finger under the foreleg. With the other hand, gently cup and support the abdomen. Manual Restraining Grab the loose skin of the rat with your thumb and index finger while exposing its ventral side. The V or claw hold. With your non-dominant hand, gently grasp the base of the tail. Form a V with your finger of your dominant hand, allowing the rodent's body to rest between them. Use your thumb and index finger to secure the rodent's back legs. Sexing procedures. Sexing small rodents is often a crucial step in research and breeding programs. Careful examination of the genital is required and proper strain techniques are essential to minimize stress and ensure accuracy. Genital examination. Lift the female mouse gently and examine the genitals. Female have a single opening for urethra and vagina. Lift the male mouse gently and examine the genitals. Male mice have a scrotum, while male rats have two protruding testicles. These are the things we need to consider. Gentle approach, importance of proper strain in route of administration, minimizing stress and promoting animal welfare, continuous improvement, and ethical practices. Gentle approach. Avoid sudden movement or rough handling that could cause distress. Use subdued lighting and quiet environment to minimize stress. Practice sexing procedures regularly to gain proficiency and confidence. Importance of proper restraint in route of administration. Proper restraint is crucial for administering substance to small animals, ensuring accurate delivery and minimizing stress. The chosen restraint method should be appropriate for the size and temperament of the animal and the type of procedure being performed. Minimizing stress and promoting animal welfare. Handling animals in a calm and reassuring manner to foster trust and reduce anxiety. Minimize handling time and conduct procedures as quickly and efficiently as possible. Provide a comfortable, secure environment for animals, including a quiet, well-lit cage and access to bedding and water. Establish consistent handling and care routines to reduce stress and increase predictability. Provide enrichment opportunities such as toys, foraging activities to promote mental and physical stimulation. Continuous improvement and ethical practices. Regularly assess and refine handling techniques to ensure they remain humane and effective. Embrace training opportunities to enhance proficiency and minimize stress for both animals and handlers. Adhere to institutional animal care and use committee guidelines to uphold ethical standards and promote animal welfare. Mastering the art of proper handling and restraint for small animals plays a pivotal role in promoting animal welfare, ensuring safety, and facilitating efficient research and breeding practices. By implementing these techniques with compassion and expertise, we can contribute to the well-being of these delicate creatures and advance our understanding of the world around us. This video was made possible by the members, the handlers, 
Alcaide Alaysa Marie, Enriquez Janine, Gaspan Mariel, Gok Ong Nil, Lamzon Christian Kim, Nadella John, Navarro Christine Joyce, and the videographer, Jimenez Maria Danica, and the director, Pinongkos Kishel. With the guidance of our professor, Dr. Gary D. Lasaga, in partial fulfillment of basic veterinary pharmacology. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe in Pinoy Vet Akads. See you, vetmates!